Hi, I'm Ian Harding, and I play Ezra Fitz on Pretty Little Liars, and you are watching Hollywood Teen Zine. Hi guys, it's Megan with Hollywood Teen Scene here with Ian Harding, who plays Ezra on Pretty Little Liars, or should we call you Mr. Fitz? Mr. Fitz, yeah, <laughs> I'll go by either. Yeah. So, congratulations on the show's success. Did you have any idea that it was going to take off the way that it is right now? Did you anticipate that? I I had some like idea of it because I know the books are really popular, so I figured there there might be some like built-in audience. But I know it's it's gone pretty pre pretty viral in some sense yeah. with you know fans both here and abroad so i didn't know it was going to go to that level so it's been pretty pretty amazing very cool speaking of the books you just said they are popular have you happened to read any of them yes yes i've read uh, a good a good portion of them uh and i've uh, that was interesting going because i i didn't really like amazon.com mitt or anything like that so i would went to the bookstore and did it the old-fashioned way and i uh, you know got several looks in doing that prior to <laughs> prior to the show coming out you know because got to look at him and say i'm gonna be on it it's okay yeah, well, I, <laughs> I just kind of took it and smiled and <laughs> left, you know. So, yes, I have read them. So, obviously, your relationship on the show is pretty scandalous. However, I've got to say, they've done a great job of kind of giving you your own, you know, personality. And so you're not just automatically this person that people assume are skeezy for dating yeah, a, yeah. a younger kid. What's your take on your character and kind of the whole dynamic with that? Uh, you know, I think he's, he's a guy that kind of finds himself in an unexpected situation that um, his instinct is uh, kind of differing from what his brain is telling him, which is obviously, you know, your brain is like, this is your student. What are you doing? Uh, but I think, uh, honestly, I think that there's some sort of, there's a connection that he has. So he can't deny that, and he needs to go for it. So I think that's the simple storyline that sure. you have to play. Yeah. Now, I know when you're acting, a lot of times you want to pull from personal experiences. Have you ever had any kind of dilemma with dating, like with an age gap or finding out, you know, meeting somebody in one circumstance, then bumping into them in a different one that was oh. problematic or anything? Uh, a few. Uh, there, I did have one circumstance where I, where I met somebody through, like, a mutual friend. And, uh, you know, we started talking, and it was very obvious that there was a connection, and it was really great. And uh, then turns out she was, I think, 37 um, and I was, you know, just kind of finishing up college. And so, I, that, I mean, it's not like a terrible thing, but uh, there was obviously some, some growing that maybe I needed to do that she had done like eight years prior. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was a bit of a, like, oh, wow, you know. Okay, so you can, you can kind of relate a little bit to that. Oh, completely. At least the you dynamic know, there. That, that you just meet somebody and there's a connection. And then sure. age is sometimes just a, a nuisance. <laughs> I know you can't. Yeah it's, yeah, it's true. We've yeah. all been there. I know you can't leak anything about where the storyline's going, but do you have somewhere where you would like to see it go? Uh, you know, I I would like to see just more of of what the writers can throw at this storyline because it's just it's this relationship that wants to blossom and wants to grow and and all of that. But you know, there are these complications and people finding out and you know, uh, uh, like new you know, like a, a love interest trying to get into it and and so. I'm all about more of the that drama and Very cool. having fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> to shift over to Ian time, anything about you that we don't know that the viewers would be interested in? Oh, <laughs> uh, probably not much. Uh, I'm pretty boring. I like <laughs> sleeping and oh, eating. That's good. And the occasional book, and then I'll come to set. So if that sounds like a good time to you, then <laughs> I'm, I'm your fan as well.